Now, a senior aide to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has confirmed that Israel has accepted a framework deal for the winding down of the Gaza war, now being advanced by US President Joe Biden, though he described it as uh, flawed and the need of much more work. That as White House officials continue to say they have every expectation that Israel will accept the ceasefire proposal. Six weeks then of a pausing of hostilities on the table with the hope that that could well be extended indefinitely. Well, first of all, let's hear from the US. This was an Israeli proposal. We have every expectation that, that if uh, Hamas agrees to the proposal, as was transmitted to them, an Israeli proposal, that Israel would say yes. It's not a small thing, but what you get is the start of phase one. So you get some hostages coming out, initial hostages. You get some calm. You get some more humanitarian assistance, maybe up to 600 trucks. And then the two sides can start talking about phase two. A little earlier, we spoke to our uh, chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons. And it's not entirely clear at this point. Uh, yeah, it's true that they have threatened they will withdraw unless uh, Benjamin Netanyahu says no to this deal. Uh, they say it's completely unacceptable that Israel has to continue its military operation in the Gaza Strip, that it has to make sure that the administration uh, after the war is over is an Israeli one, and so on and so on. Completely unacceptable to people outside of Israel. Uh, but... Uh, at this stage, it's not clear what Netanyahu's response to uh, Itamar uh, Ben-Gvir and Bezalel Smotrich is going to be. He does have a bit of a fallback, it has to be said, because Yair Lapid, who's the leader of uh, Yeshatid, one of the biggest parties in the Knesset, 24 members of the Knesset, has said not to worry about those two members of, of his uh, alliance, of his uh, go government, co government coalition. His party will give him the backing if he signs on to this deal. Uh, so he's got to make lots of different calculations, and not all of them are about what's happening inside Israel. He has to think, too, about how the United States is going to react to what he does. And he knows that Joe Biden has put an immense about, um, amount of political capital on ensuring that this goes through. Joe Biden wants to get this out of the way and to be a success for him before he gets to the US elections. If this stumbles and crumbles and fall, collapses, that's not good for Joe Biden. Uh, and that's going to reflect on the relationship between Joe Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu. So Netanyahu's got to think about a lot of different moving parts in this. Our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, there talking to us a little earlier on.